Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Angel Love Tarot. Today I am going to do a love reading for Aquarius. This is going to be for the second half of January. Please remember that the timing is flexible, okay? This is a general reading and if you'd like something more specific, my information is in the description box. Um, I do phone readings and I also do recorded videos. This will be for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, you can also check out my other videos. Um, sometimes I find I'm a Cancer Sun sign, um, and sometimes I strongly resonate with my um, Leo Moon sign. So feel free to check out my other videos. And if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, like, comment. I appreciate it. That's how I get my feedback. And if you are new to my channel, um, the way that I do my monthly readings is the first half is the tarot portion, second half is the oracle cards, and so that you get personal messages to you, I have three stacks of oracle cards, um, which I call the pick an angel. So there's an angel on each stack. You'll pick one of the angels that you're most drawn to, and those will be the messages for you, and that will be done the second half of the video. So the first stack is the masculine angel, okay? Second stack is the feminine angel, okay? And then the third stack is the baby angel, okay? So look at the three angels, see which one you're more drawn to and, and then we'll go to that portion second half of the video okay I already pre-shuffled so I'll just cut the cards and then we'll start <clears throat> Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Please tell us what we need to know for Aquarius, second half of January, in love. Whew. They just jumped right out. Okay. Okay. So, I feel here that somebody in the past um, was playing mind games with you, okay? So I feel like this person um, was trying to get what they what they wanted in the past, okay? So I feel like, you know, here with the Magician card, um, you know, this can mean two things. This can mean that this person was trying to manipulate the situation with you to try and get what they want because the next card we have is the Sun card, which is happiness. So they may be doing this to try and... Um, you know, manipulate the situation for their own benefit, okay? For some of you, I feel this could also be, um, you know, this person was um, playing games in the past, um, and now um, some of you may be manifesting a new future that is filled with happiness, okay? So those are two scenarios. Um, but I'm going to keep going because we don't know completely yet um, since there can be two situations with those cards. Okay, we'll see where it goes. Okay, so let's pull a different deck. I already pre-shuffled. I'm just going to cut the cards. There we go. All right, thank you, Angels and Spirit. Please tell us what we need to know for Aquarius, second half of January in love, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please tell us what we need to know. I've got about four cards there, but we're going to take them all. Okay. Okay. So yeah, so I do feel like this person was playing games with you, but I feel here with the Queen of Swords energy that you really basically called them out on it, okay? 
I feel that a lot of you have called them out on it and said, I'm not playing these games anymore, okay? So I feel here that either things ended with you and this person or this situation ended, okay? By you calling them out, I feel here that, um, you know, that behavior has ended, okay? The next card that came out is the Eight of Swords. So I feel here, yeah, so I feel from what has happened in the past and the games that they have played with you, I feel like you have really, this has really affected you emotionally and mentally. Um, I feel like, you know, you, you've been doing a lot of thinking and overthinking about it. Um, and this person has really made you feel trapped, okay? The next card that came out <clears throat> is the Knight of Swords, okay? So I do feel like because you called this person out on the situation, I do feel like they are, they are, um, they're rushing in, okay? I feel like they're rushing in to contact you or see you um, because I do feel... <clears throat> that they re they realize that you bring sunshine to their life, that you bring happiness to their life, okay? And I feel like they realize that they didn't treat you well in the past, okay? And I feel like they feel like they're going to lose you, okay? So I feel like this person is coming towards you. Either they're going to contact you or, um, you know, they may be at a distance as well. Um, but we'll, we'll keep going, see what happens with this situation. Now, I didn't mention we have a lot of swords energy here, so this could be you, Aquarius, or it can be a Libra or a Gemini, or it can be another Aquarius in your life. We have the death card here that, you know, here can be Scorpio, okay? The, uh, let's see here if we got anything else. Yeah, we just basically swords energy, Scorpio, and then the air signs. All right okay thank you angels and spirit for your guidance please tell us what we need to know regarding love Ooh, for Aquarius wow okay okay so the first card that came out <clears throat> is the five of wands. So yeah, I really feel like this has been a challenge for you and this person, okay? I feel like they're, you know, because you called this person out on it, um, I feel that this has caused some conflict between the two of you, okay? Um, you may not have called them out yet, but I feel um, that you're going to. Either that or I feel like you're not going to respond to this person, okay? And I feel like um, this is going to cause um, some challenges um, where he is going to contact you and uh, there's going to be some back and forth here, okay? Uh, the next card that came out is the Seven of Swords. And so, yes, I had said here, um, you know, with the Magician and the Five of Swords, I feel like there was some manipulation here. This person was not acting um, with good intentions or they may have been hiding something, okay? Um, and I do feel either things had ended between the two of you or I feel that, um, you know, this situation and their behavior is ending, okay? So the next card that came out um, is the Four of Swords. So definitely feel since this situation um, transpired, I feel like this person is taking a break and they're really thinking about things. I feel the same for you as well. Like I said, we have the eight of swords, I feel like somebody's, um, you know, feeling trapped. Okay. Or stuck, um, because you're still in the midst of this situation. Okay. It hasn't, um, been resolved yet. Now the next card that came out um, is the tower. So like I said, I felt like this person, um, you know, is going to rush towards you. Okay. I feel like, um, they realize 
I feel like they realize that this is their last chance for happiness with you, okay? That they need to do something. So they realize that the foundation of what you two had has fallen apart um, here with the tower. So I feel like they are going to make some attempt um, to contact you. Okay, I'm going to keep going. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Please tell us what we need to know regarding this connection. Ooh. All right. Okay. Yeah, so with the challenges, I feel like um, you're going to feel stuck in this situation. You know, this can be the other person as well because the roles can be reversed here. But definitely feel here there are going to be some challenges um, and some back and forth of communication. And I feel like you or this person is going to feel stuck in this situation. And, you know, with the next card that comes out is the Two of Swords. Okay, so somebody needs to make a decision here, either you or this person. Um, you know, I feel like. I feel like you already know that this person, um, you know, was playing games or was manipulating or was hiding something. And I feel like you know this, but you're not doing anything right now. You're kind of observing or waiting to see what happens. Okay. And that's kind of what well, she has the blindfold on here. You know, she, she can take it off and see ahead of her, but she's choosing not to. Okay, and that's where I feel here. You're choosing not to do anything at the moment. Okay. So, you know, like I said, there's a lot of thinking going on here. We had eight of swords. Now we have we have four of swords taking a break. So I feel like both of you, you do feel you do have this deep connection with each other, okay, with the ten of cups here. Yeah, ten of cups. Um, and I feel here that you, you both feel very, very connected. Okay. On a deep emotional level. Okay. And I feel like the two of you aren't ready to let this go yet. I feel like the two of you, um, still want to see where things go. Okay. And is this really over? Okay. Cause I feel like a lot of you are at the point where you feel that this, you know, may very well be the last, the last straw, okay, um, not feeling like you can't take any more of it, okay, the next card that came out is the nine of wands, all right, so like I said, I feel like this person um, knows that the foundation, you know, here with the tower has been broken, um, that it's not stable anymore, that things have fallen apart, um, and like I said, I feel like they are going to reach out to you, um, connect with you in some way. And I feel like they are not going to give up. Okay. I feel like with this card, um, with the nine of wands here, it's like they are going to fight to the bitter end. And like I said, this can be you as well. The roles can be reversed. Okay. So I just feel like this connection or relationship is not over. Okay. I feel like um, you know, one of you or both of you are going to be fighting for this relationship. Okay. All right. So let's move on to the Oracle portion. All right. So for those of you who chose the first deck, which is the masculine angel, you lay out the cards. Okay. So the first card that came out uh, from the Romance Angels is a new person has stirred romantic feelings, a new love, okay? And the second card that came out is attraction, okay? So there may be somebody else in your life um, that you're attracted to or they're attracted to you and this may be bringing in new love for you. So if you, um, you know, feel like this relationship is not going to go anywhere. Some of you will have the opportunity of new love, okay? For others of you who I feel may reconcile this connection, um, I feel here that in order to do that, um, you're really going to have to 
um, live in the moment and try not to think about the past, okay, and let things flow, okay? Um, and with that, there'll be a new beginning between the two of you. So that's where new love will come in, okay? <clears throat> okay, the next two cards that came out were from the angel answer cards. And if there's a question that you had that you've been wanting to answer to, um, this card says the answer is yes. Okay, now with this card, I also see this is a card about balance. Um, as you can see, she's holding the world and she's holding the sun. And I feel here that, or I should say she's holding the earth and the sun. Um, and I feel here that this is... Um, and it, message to tell you that you are going to have balance um, in your life as well, okay, for whatever this question is about, okay. And the next card that came out is romance, okay. So definitely feel here whether you're going to have new love coming in or you're going to reconcile with this person. Um, I feel here that your angels are telling you that romance is, is on its way. <clears throat> The next card that came out is, um, excuse me, <clears throat> reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best, okay? So yeah, like I said, I feel like there's a little break here. I feel like both of you are taking a break and thinking about things, thinking about this Ten of Cups, okay? Um, thinking, you know, is this going to work out? We have this really deep connection deep emotional connection to each other, and I feel like the two of you are reflecting, okay, on this situation. <clears throat> okay, the next card I pulled is from the Archangel Michael deck. It says, um, the message from Archangel Michael is sense of humor. Okay, and then I will read that to you. <clears throat> and it says, um, this situation would benefit from your sense of humor. View your experience as you were watching a scene from a movie, keeping in mind, as Shakespeare said, that all the world's stage. What do you find humorous about human nature in this scenario? By getting a new perspective on everyone's behavior, you can automatically detach with love. Humor allows people to drop their defenses so that love can enter and heal the situation and relationship. That's why God and the angels have a wonderful sense of humor, and so do you. Okay, now specific meanings to this card, and all of them may not apply, are know that laughter is the best medicine, watch a funny movie or TV show to boost your mood, your life purpose may involve uh, comedy writing, acting, or speaking, learn some new jokes as a way to help your relationships, Enroll in a stand-up comedy class to increase your speaking skills and self-confidence. And the prayer here, if you want to say it with me, I'll hold it up close so you can see it. Thank you for helping me see the humor in this situation so I can lovingly laugh at human nature. I am willing to view my experience in a new light in order to attract love and healing energy. Okay, yeah, beautiful message there because... What I'm feeling in this reading here is there's some definite, intense, serious um, stuff going on here, okay? So I feel like um, both of you have been in your thoughts a lot and you could use some sense of humor, okay? All right, so the next stack is the Feminine Angel. All right, and let's pull these cards out. Okay, so the first card from the Romance Angel deck is allow the situation to unfold naturally, let go, go control issues here. Okay, so definitely you were this person, like I said in the reading, I feel like there was some manipulation going on. I feel like somebody's trying to control the situation um, and get what they want out of the situation, okay? Um, so, you know, this is about letting go of control, letting things flow, 
letting things fall into place here, okay? <clears throat> Second card that came out is someone is wearing a, a false mask in this relationship, deception, okay? And that's what I said here with the Seven of Swords. Definitely, um, you know, somebody in this situation um, is not being honest um, or trying to get away with something um, or, you know, like I said, manipulative, all right? So definitely there is a sign of deception here. Then I pulled two cards from the Angel Answer deck, and the first card that came out is Choose a New Direction, okay? So, you know, I feel some of you aren't going to be able to get over, um, you know, this, um, <clears throat> you know, this manipulation or deception or dishonesty, whatever it is, I feel some of you aren't going to get over it, and I feel like some of you are going to decide to uh, move on and choose another direction okay the next card that came out is a year from now okay so i feel like your angels are telling you that um you know this situation could take up to a year okay for some of you that are married um you know i feel here that you know it may take you a bit longer um to get out of this connection or relationship so i feel some of you um, are planning, you know, to exit, and it may take up to a year, okay? So anytime from now to a year, you know, it could play out um, if you decide to choose a new direction. Okay, so the next card that came out <clears throat> is sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul, for there will be true, for there you will find true bliss. Okay, so yeah, I, I said here, I feel that the two of you have a very deep um, connection. It's a very soulful connection, very emotionally attached connection here. Okay, we got with the Ten of Cups. All right, then I pulled um, a message from Archangel Michael. And the message that came out, this is a beautiful card here, says, um, you and your loved ones are safe. Archangel Michael and other angels are protecting you and your loved ones, including your family and friends in heaven. This card is a sign that you can relax, knowing that the Archangel is taking care of the details and safeguarding you and your loved ones in all ways. Okay, possible specific meanings, and all of these may not apply, but give worries and cares to God and the angels. Your financial needs are being taken care of. Your business is protected. It's safe to travel. A loved one in heaven is happy and sending you love. Remember that worries are a form of prayer. So only pray for that which you desire. Okay. And then uh, there's a prayer here if you want to say it with me. It says, Dear God and Archangel Michael, thank you for watching over me and my loved ones. And then you can name um, your loved ones. Please help me feel secure and at peace and fill me with faith so that I may focus on my priorities and enjoy a healthful, happy life. All right. So beautiful, beautiful message there. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe, like, and comment. I appreciate it. That's how I get my feedback. And then I'm going to move on to the baby angel, which is stack number three. what we got here okay all right so I first pulled two cards from the romance angels deck and the first card is there's a strong magnetic attraction here we have chemistry so definitely feel here you know I feel like this is why this person isn't giving up or you're not giving up because the two of you are just magnetically attached, okay? You're having a difficult time. Um, like I said earlier, I feel like, you know, the two of you with the Ten of Cups here are very um, emotionally attached to each other, okay? The next card that came out is the, um, is honestly discuss your feelings with each other, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. And yes, like I said, I feel like this person is going to reach out to you. 
Um, either that or, you know, they're coming to you from a distance. I feel like there's going to be some conversations here, okay, regarding this connection. The next two cards I pulled are from the Angel Answer deck. And the first card that came out is Wait, okay? So what I feel here is your angels are telling you not to rush into anything, okay? I feel like they want you to hear this person out. You want to hear their truth that you want to make things clear, you want to know what they want in the connection, and you want them to know what you want in the connection. And I feel here your angels are saying, don't rush, get the clarity that you need, do what makes you feel good. You can see her heart chakras um, lit up here, um, a feeling of peace, okay? So I feel here your angels are saying, um, don't rush into anything, Get the truth and clarity that you need before making any decisions. Okay, and then the next card that came out is, it's up to you. And your angels are saying, you know, it's up to you whether you want to continue on with this connection or relationship. Okay, and again, she has her hand on her heart. Um, and I feel this is a message to you saying you need to do what makes you feel good. Okay, no other reason but what makes you feel good. All right. Okay. The next card I pulled is from the Lover's Oracle deck. Um, and the card that says, look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. Okay. And this is part of you getting the clarity that you need. Okay. If you're not feeling good, where is it? If you're in this eight of swords, this mental, you know, anguish, feeling trapped, overthinking, anxiety, okay? Your angels are saying, really think about why, why are you so upset about this situation? You know, is the situation what's best for you? Okay, and they're saying, really look inside yourself, um, you know, to see, you know, why, you, why you're so upset. This will help you in your decision making. All right, and then the last card um, is a message from Archangel Michael. And the card that came out is focus upon divine and perfect health. Archangel Michael says that the key to good health is to focus upon your well-being instead of on sickness or injury. You drew this card as a reminder to stay centered on your desires, not your fears. Bodies react instantly to love and fear, so choose the former in this situation. Pour genuine affection and blessings into every cell. Visualize and expect perfect health for yourself and others. Speak of yourself and loved ones in terms of perfect health. Affirming that all is well. And possible specific meanings, and all of these may not apply. You'll notice an improvement in your health. Follow your intuition regarding health and healing. Your life purpose involves healing. Make positive changes to your lifestyle. Use uplifting affirmations, especially about health, and seek a second um, medical opinion. And if you want to say the prayer with me, I'll hold it up close for you. It says, God and Archangel Michael, thank you for continuously reminding me to focus upon perfect health and for guiding my actions so that they support my well-being. Okay, beautiful, beautiful message there. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe, like, and comment. I appreciate it. That's how I get my feedback. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the evening or wonderful day, and I'm sending you angel love.